Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me, and Advice Show for the Modern Era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. Uh, this is your middlest brother, uh, Travis McElroy. I'm uh, so happy to be here, and you could have listened to uh, any podcast, and uh, you chose us, so we're going to get moving here. We got a nice tailwind on the podcast uh so we're hab- hoping to end early about 49 minutes just sit back and relax uh, uh <laughs> hey hey there frequent flyers this is griffin mcelroy and we hope you've got your tickets for the for both the flight and for the theater because it's time for a movie watch special movie for all of us uh this holiday season valentine's it's pla- day it's valentine's, it's day. valentine's day it's planning it's plain in times day <laughs> it's plain in times plain and it's plain watch <laughs> plain watch zoom zoom Ger- gerald uh, butler has come to us from the mount he's come down from the mount he is i hold- have a new problem <laughs> He is held. It's a new prophecy for Gerard Butler. <laughs> from Gerald Butler comes down from the mount with his tablets, and etched in the tablet is one word, and the word is plain, and the other tablet is blank. Uh, he says this one's going to be plain too, or it said, it's, it says one says plain, and the other one says this tablet intentionally left blank. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is the only. And then next year the tablet will change to a giant S. Yes. He'll just put that next to With a money like, sign. With a money sign. With a money like sign. Jim Cameron. It's plain watch. Kitchen aliens. Travis has been sort of my boots on the ground plain street team for a while. He's been sending us lots of promotional images. My and- favorite last week. Last yep. week, yep. Plane, the yep. people behind Plane, the Plane producers were like, uh, yeah, we're going to leak some, uh, some stills. Oh boy. To some news. Those stills. One, a bunch of people dramatically crossing their arm, leaning or sitting at a table. Great. And looking at, I imagine, a screen where something more interesting is happening. And then another one where Jared Butler is just kind of pe- like looking out a plane door. And it's a close up. Yeah. We barely see any plane in it. And they're like, this no will plane. get him horny for plane. <laughs> What's wild is it's kind of like. The Babadook, because you don't actually see the plane until like <laughs> an hour and a half into the film. And when it reveals the plane, guys, when I saw it in theaters, when it finally shows the plane, people lost their asses. I'm people just saying, were fucking ballistic. I'm just saying, in my Shyamalan's back, plane is his best work so yes. far. The twist uh, that it ends up being uh, P L A I N. Yes. Blew me away. I had no idea. No yeah, idea that was coming. I, huge, huge. Yeah, I mean, it's from the from the makers of Old and Mermaid and Elevator. Complain. And I think that this is maybe, I think this is Jared's best work yet. Yeah, For man, my uh, money. Um, I loved him in 300. I loved him in- 301. 301 Dalmatians. I think he's a natural talent and I'll watch anything that he does. Any, I loved any, Gamer. Loved I gamer. loved, loved gamer. gamer. Loved Forget gamer. about it. We stand. I love how many times in Gamer he was teabagging dudes. <laughs> he he just kills a lot right. of men and puts his privates on them in Gamer a lot. He does it a few times in playing it. Every time he does it in playing, he looks at you like at the camera like, from Gamer, he says that. From Gamer, remember yeah. when I do this in Gamer? I love how it's all sort of one connected Gerald verse. Um, um I have a little uh, a game for you guys. Ooh, a oh, playing game? Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, this is a playing game. The reviews are in. Okay. And uh, I'm going to read the Rotten Tomatoes snippets from these reviews. Great. And your task, yeah, if I may, is to tell me if it is a positive review, oh. if it has been excerpted from a positive review or a negative review this of seems, the movie playing. This now, seems ju- like it shouldn't be too hard. And Justin, I'm just going to say, it'll be too easy if it contains the word soars or crashes. I will know exactly oh, which yeah. one it is. You may think so. Let's see. Okay, here's the first one. Reminded me of a picture of a beautifully drawn horse that turned into a stick figure by the end. That's um uh, that's a ne- that's a negative one. I don't think yeah, they like it. Yeah, it's got to be negative. Okay, that is negative. Correct. Good. Okay. Correct. Good game. Good. Good game so far. Uh, that's also okay. a specific like meme reference there, author. You can't be like it reminds me of like just say it's like that meme. It's like that one meme. Plain would now th- this is from James 
uh, uh, Baradinelli. Okay. Oh, I love it. And he says, playing would have been an adequate way to waste a couple hours lounging on the couch and munching salty snacks. But as a multiplex draw, not quite. Even if you bring the salty snacks along. I think Jim was hungry. <laughs> yeah, I think Jim might have been hungry. Maybe Jim also doesn't understand that the th- at the theater you can get the s- salty snacks. That, like they have the salty snacks, everything you need sort of snack wise. They do. Yeah, have it's all there. The theater, no problem. Um, I'm going to say huge. it's a positive one because he said not quite, which could have yeah. been worse. Yeah, I, th- I, think, he, I think he had a, an all right time. It sounds like, honestly, it's his fault. Because he watched it, in the he wrong didn't bring. Place. He watched so it hungry. Well, he, loves. he went to like the ten thirty a.m. showing, and he was like, "I'll be fine." But then yeah. by the time the movie's done, he's like, "Oh, it's past lunch." Oh no! Yeah, it sounds like you, you can't be like, "I watched playing in a spider filled room, and so I hated it." Like, it's a bad movie. It's whatever, man. I think I feels like also salty snacks is so non-specific. It feels like. Uh, he he's a socialite trying to remember what the common folk. Yeah, is. right. I mean, yeah, we like, love salt. Lover, lover. Do they have? Uh, remind me. Do they eat brie and watercress <laughs> at the cinema? No, just salty snacks is what I write. Okay, this is a tough one. Oh. Plain. Is Wait, was it positive fish. or negative? Oh, it was negative. You were wrong. Oh, plain is an unattractive but viscerally effective film. There is little here to admire for the eye. Absolutely nothing for the brain, but plenty to appeal to the id. Huh. Oh, damn. Wow. This is, I don't know who wrote this one, but they sound like they might be too smart for playing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's, I'm going to say a, a, that's positive. I think they actually did like it. Yeah, I, I think, think it's positive too, because they're saying like, yeah, listen, turn off your heart, turn off yeah. your brain. <laughs> Close your heart. Turn on your Close guts. Your Close your, your heart guts to are going to love it. <laughs> Close your heart to Let playing. plane get up in your guts. You're going to love um, it. What was that? Juice? Uh, okay, this is that is positive good, or negative? That, that one was positive. Yes. Yeah. Coulter counterbalances all his brawny physicality with a grimy, utilitarian sense of humor. Moments of Gaspar skulking around corners with a sledgehammer, at least in my screening, drew bigger cheers than Butler's vein popping cockpit performance. Wow. Whoa, I would love to ever do anything artistic in my life that people refer to as a vein popping. <laughs> anything like yeah. Griffin's vein popping humor on this episode of my bim bam now I uh, enjoy Matt Mercer's voice work on critical role but of course it does not compare to Griffin's vein popping DMery <laughs> um I I I love movies positive or negative uh, positive I'm gonna say positive I think that, too if I this do person, like the idea of uh, Gaspar Skulking around corners with his sledged hammer. It's negative. Uh, I didn't like it. Okay. All right, last one. And I just feel like this one really sums it up because Jordan Hoffman uh, is uh, great work. Is is a great critic. If you buy a ticket for this one, just know there's no first class option. Nice. (laughs) That's good. But with moderate expectations, you'll still get to your destination. A a review. I think I would love to have leveled at our. Yeah, yeah sure. With moderate expectations, we'll get you there. Well, with moderate expectations, everything's good. Well, I'm just saying that this is actually a very good summary of air travel experience as it exists, like yes. on a very average basis. Which is just like, yeah, man, li- listen, they got planes over in like Qatar that like you're sitting in a full blown like hotel room on the There's plane, swimming pool, but right. like your average plane, you're just there to get where you're going. So right. if you just need to kill. I'm going to guess 95 minutes. You're going to love playing in that when you sit down, you'll have 95 minutes to go until lunchtime. Yeah. And when it's done, 95, you'll have reached lunchtime. If you have the endurance for it, you can finish playing. That's my review of playing. Yeah. I saw it in theaters and I had an amazing time, but at a very basic level, if you sit there, it has the whole movie in playing. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole the whole movie's there. They don't yeah. they you're not going to not finish playing if you try really hard. I'm going to say that that's a positive, Justin. Yeah, positive, huge. Uh, huge for playing. Yeah, positive. Jordan turns around. Justin, there. can I guess what the percentage on Rotten Tomatoes is? Ooh, for that's fine. I love that. I love that. Tiebreaker. Critical I'm going to say like 58%. I was going to say 40% crit. Can you guys do it in terms of positive? Because that's the way it all, like, how what percentage positive? I don't understand what I'm you're saying. I'm saying 58% positive. The Rotten Tomatoes score, which is expressed in a percentage of always, positive reviews, 40% positive. 58% positive. Hey, guys, 
Get ready for liftoff because this one's at 75% positive. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah, Let, man. Let's, let's go. fucking go. Gerard, you're back, baby. You're back, baby. Do you remember you called me last night and you're like, I don't think I'm back, but you are back. You're back Gerard. now, you're back. bud. You're soaring. You're flying you're high, You're flying baby. like your titular plane, plane two, planes. Train, truck, hey, Trav, your haircut boat. looks good. Hey, thanks, like bud. First time seeing it in camera. It looks nice. Yeah, thank you. I said, give I, me the Sonic, baby. And they did, did you? <laughs> did you? When picking the baffling for your your little sound prison that yeah, you yeah, made yeah. there, did you make sure that it is the same color as your hair, and yeah. it kind of does make you look like a woolly willy man? Yeah, who, a man with yeah. a sort of divot. Yeah, I just. I wanted people to be able to green screen it or purple screen it easier. That's why I also purple screen like a your purple hair out. Okay. Thing. Well, I'm I've been trapped in this cube for a long time, and I'm yeah. so bored. You are with all the purple. It looks kind of like pickup artist camouflage. Yeah, like you're trying to hide in mysteries, mysteries. <laughs> like you dress to blend into mysteries curtains. Well, the thing is, is I made the decision. Uh, that I got fish and having fish tank is basically saying, and the sound quality in here will be terrible forever. So I have to stay trapped in my little box here, but my fish get to live in their little box. Oh no, actually, <laughs> <laughs> only now do I realize I've trapped us both in boxes. How metaphorically yeah. painful. Guys, I just Googled plain bloopers <laughs> <laughs> and it brought up, don't Google that. No, it like, brought up some, what I would describe as real life plane bloopers and those aren't they're not lighthearted fun well then uh, they shouldn't call them bloopers bloopers inherently implies lighthearted fun you're not like oh there was a plane blooper today we lost yeah. 75 souls 75 soul did you recover the black box from the plane blooper <laughs> someone made <laughs> now what, what a fucking bozo <laughs> And he's uh, survived by his wife and kids. <laughs> 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 Fucking Sully is like the only one who can say like, yeah, guys, I had a real plane blooper up there. <laughs> every every other tragic plane-based whoopsie cannot be called a blooper except for well, Sully's. the problem is that Su the bar that Sully the film had to cross is that yeah. it had to be so good mm -hmm. and well acted it made you forget how fucking funny yeah. <laughs> the whole thing is. It's hysterical. Birds flew in and he landed in, in the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's not what it's supposed to be. So that's, uh, that's plain. Get there. Day one. Get there.